Hello and welcome to Good News That Actually Is, where three to five sets you free to thrive. Three to five minute encouragements to help your joy by empowering your soul. I am your host, Tim Ashley. Do you think the Holy Spirit can pray a prayer for you that'll go unanswered? No. I don't think he can. I believe he prays effectual prayers. And to me, that's reassuring. And it's very relational and faithful, too, because he's praying these prayers when we can't. You ever had one of those times where you knew you ought to be praying, but you're in a struggle place. You're on the struggle bus. You know, you're just riding the struggle bus downtown to the worst part of town. Right. And you're, you, you, you know you need to pray. You know there's something you need to cry out to God for, but you can't bring yourself to do it. Yeah. Am I the only one who's ever been there? No. <laughs> I've had friends before say, you just need to pray. Well, that's easy for you to say. As if they're super saint. Right. They always got their prayer on. Liar. <laughs> You just lied. You're just as human as anybody else is. Come on. I love it. In the ministry, it's kind of funny because people imagine you probably never struggle to pray. Oh, <laughs> don't kid yourself. <laughs> I battle maybe even harder than you do sometimes because I got an enemy that don't want me to be able to pray. He doesn't want me to be able to connect with the Father. If he could have his way, I'd never hear anything from God. Right? right? Mm -hmm. So I understand it. Right. And I am so thankful we have the Holy Spirit. Yes. Who helps us in our time of weakness in prayer. And intercedes for us according to the will of God. Now, I don't know if that reassures you this morning, but it sure does me. Now, so important is the role of the Holy Spirit in a believer's life. Jesus said the following to his disciples regarding the Holy Spirit when he had informed them that the time was near that he must go to the Father. Can you imagine these guys? They've been walking for all this time with Jesus. They're thinking, man, Messiah's going to establish his kingdom. Woo, baby. About to get good up in here. And then he starts telling them, I got to go away. I'm going to my Father. And where I'm going, you can't come right now, but eventually you, you will. He starts rocking these guys' world. Could you imagine you just got married and, and you still feel like you're in the honeymoon mode? <clears throat> and the person you're married to says, I got to go away. And you can't come. <laughs> See, if you look at what Jesus is saying, these guys is just a bunch of buddies. You miss the impact of his statements upon their hearts. This is deep, profound relationship. Very deep, profound relationship. So in John 16, verse 7, Jesus says, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I don't go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. You know what Jesus is saying? He's saying the one who has been benefiting me all this time. It is vital that he be able to come to you. And for him to come to you, I got to go. Thanks for tuning in today. Never forget that you are loved by a faithful God whose obedient son, Jesus Christ, willingly died on a cross so that you can live today and always from the abundance of his life in you. 
Please subscribe and share this with others so that they too can experience the three to five that sets you free to thrive. And be sure to tune in next time to Good News That Actually Is. Please visit us at our website, goodnewsthatactuallyis.com. There you'll find transcripts of the program, video files, and other opportunities. We look forward to visiting with you there and ask you to subscribe. Have a great day.